Hi, I'm Anna Maria De Freitas, owner of the Harrison House Suites, the Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, San Juan Island. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an Italian fig cookie. So we're going to do this in parts. I'm going to show you first how to make the dough, then we're going to come back and make the filling, and then we'll assemble the whole cookie. One and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter of a cup of sugar, eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of vanilla, eighth of a cup of milk, and a quarter cup of European unsalted butter that I've cut into one tablespoon pieces, and then one egg. Okay, 30 minutes in the refrigerator, and I'll see you in a few minutes. So now we're going to make the filling for our cucidati, or our Italian fig cookies. I have some figs that I've infused with some bourbon. I have some raisins, about a half a cup of raisins. That was about a cup of figs and about a quarter cup of bourbon. Some local honey, about a quarter, teaspoon, quarter cup of honey. half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and about a half a cup of walnuts that I've toasted. You can optionally add like a little orange rind. You can you know, adjust the flavors slightly based to your personal tastes. And you're going to just grind this together. And there we go. So you have this beautiful, rich fig filling, and you can smell the bourbon. And we're going to set this aside and we're going to check on our dough. I think it's still resting in the refrigerator. We'll give it a few more minutes. Okay, so our dough is ready. You can see how it's, it's slightly lends to the touch. So it's going to be just soft enough to roll but hard enough to stay in shape. Flour is your friend in this situation. So you want to try to roll it into a rectangle. Not some weird object size, otherwise it's going to be hard to roll and keep the filling. And then we're going to spread our filling on here, and then we're going to proceed to roll it into, so we can get a pinwheel. So you just want to make sure you have a nice even layer of filling. You don't want to go too close to the edges, because then sometimes it'll spill out. If the dough is forgiving with just a little bit of flour. And it doesn't spread, so whatever shape that you have, that's the shape that's pretty much going to be when you bake it. And I have a silpat lining my baking sheet. Or you can just put it on a parchment paper. And okay, so I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator, and then we'll check on it in about a half hour. Okay, so this is the last step of our Italian fig cookie. The dough is actually much more manageable now than it was a few minutes ago. And again, these cookies aren't going to spread much, so the shape that you put them on the pan is the shape that they're going to come out. And these are going to go in a 350 degree oven, about 10 or 12 minutes until the ends are just nice and golden brown. So buon appetito. I hope you enjoy your Italian fig cookie.